Hello and welcome to the next chapter in our ongoing series of tutorials that will help familiarize you and improve your skills in Corel PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. My name is Robert Corel. In today's short lesson I'm going to show you how to reverse text on a path. First, create a new document. The width and height as well as the resolution are up to you. I'm choosing a raster background that's white. Press OK to create the new image. To begin with, I'm going to show you how not to do this. First, select rectangle or another shape. Come up and enter the two options that you like. I'm choosing a stroke width of five pixels. Got a stroke property of black and then a background or fill color of white. I'm going to draw the rectangle. Now you can apply text to a rectangle or another shape by then selecting text tool, hovering the cursor over the shape until it changes, clicking and entering the text. I'm going to highlight the text and increase the size, change its properties, and apply. So you can see the text now has been applied to that rectangle. Now unlike a path you cannot reverse that text so let's try select the rectangle come up to objects edit and you'll notice reverse path is not an option even if I were to then switch to the pen tool choose the same menu reverse path is not an option you have to convert that shape to a path so I'm going to delete this start over. This time I'll create an ellipse. I'm going to change my material properties, increase the width of the line, and draw the ellipse. Now select the pick tool to select the vector object, come to objects, convert to path. That's the important step. Now choose the text tool, hover the cursor over that path, click and enter the text. Apply. Now you'll notice that text is on the outside of the ellipse. Reversing the text on the path will switch this so that the text is inside. So I'm going to select the path with the pick tool, change to the pen tool so the path is visible, come up to objects, edit, reverse path, there, you can see the text has now been reversed on the path and is now inside the shape. You can do this with shapes and you can create your own paths with the pen tool and do the same thing. Alright, that concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.